another top technology was born. Saudi Arabia's strong support has helped Huawei achieve a new breakthrough. After the birth of cutting-edge 5G technology, Huawei was known to the world. However, the outstanding cell phone business has always made Huawei be mistaken as a cell phone manufacturer, but in fact, its main business is communication business, which has already occupied a large share of the market in Europe and America in the 4G era. Huawei has successfully surpassed Europe and the United States in the 5G era, becoming the only manufacturer that can achieve end-to-end -end deployment, leaving Nokia, Ericsson, Qualcomm and other established giants behind, but this has also triggered a series of policy adjustments in the United States. However, Huawei's complete autonomy in 5G technology has made it impossible for the United States to start. In addition, those countries that trust Huawei have taken the lead in the layout of the new era. Saudi Arabia's strong support has also allowed Huawei to accelerate its digital transformation and complete the world's first 1.2T channel test. So, what does technology mean? Hi, welcome back to TechTeller. Before we start today's video, please subscribe to our channel, which is the encouragement that we can create more videos. Okay, let's move on to today's topic. Huawei has been cultivating in the field of communication technology for more than 20 years and has made a major breakthrough in the 4G era. At that time, it was already one of the major equipment suppliers in the field of communication. With the help of its deep foundation, Huawei has begun to emerge in the 5G network again. I think that without the US's forcible intervention, Huawei's 5G equipment footprints have already spread all over the world. The United Kingdom was the first European country to cooperate with Huawei in 5G, but it firmly believed in the United States' remarks that Huawei's 5G has network security problems. It not only broke the contract, but also threatened to completely dismantle Huawei's equipment. However, due to the absence of suitable replacements and sufficient funds, this has also completely stagnated the layout of the 5G network in the UK. The subsidy for dismantling the equipment promised by the United States did not arrive in time, which also made the British telecom operators very dissatisfied. They continued to put pressure on the British responsible person to delay the dismantling of the equipment. It was originally planned to dismantle the equipment in January 2023, but it has been postponed until the end of December. In addition, the United Kingdom has also admitted that it has given up its 5G cooperation with Huawei due to pressure from the United States. In other countries, however, it's a different story. After the introduction of 5G, Saudi Arabia opened its doors completely for Huawei to play, and now it has been rewarded accordingly. While building a new energy power system, Huawei also helped Saudi Arabia complete a joint 5G LAN innovation project, laying the foundation for the subsequent operation of digital service capabilities for the 5G to be market. Recently, good news came from the cooperation between the two parties again. The cooperation between Saudi STC Telecom and Huawei has made great progress. The world's first 1.2T channel was successfully tested in dense wavelength division multiplexing optical network, achieving a maximum capacity of 48T per fiber, four times that of the original foundation. The technological breakthrough completed with STC Telecom means that optical fiber transmission technology will develop in the direction of high transmission and large capacity, which will be able to cope with greater traffic peaks and improve the transformation and upgrading of smart cities, highways, medical care and other fields. In addition, Huawei has also shown enough sincerity in the process of cooperation with Saudi Arabia. In addition to helping local telecom operators complete technology expansion projects, it will also help them train 8,000 communication technology professionals in the future to ensure various business autonomous operation. Although the cutoff of the Kirin chip has greatly reduced the revenue of the mobile phone business, it has also given Huawei the idea of being prepared for danger in times of peace, and has launched a layout for more businesses. The birth of Harmony OS and EULA systems has also given Huawei a backbone for its digital layout, and its autonomous system has also taken shape. Huawei has renamed consumer business to terminal business. With the blessing of 5G technology, the revenue of this business has been increasing year by year. 
At present, Huawei has also streamlined its business, adjusted some marginal businesses that are temporarily unprofitable, and increased the accumulation of cash flow to meet the needs of the main business at any time. The top 5G business is the guarantee. At present, Huawei has started to collect technology patent fees, and no US company can avoid it. Now, not only do they have to pay off the licensing fees at this stage, but they also have to pay back what they owed before. Currently, Huawei is already defending their rights one by one. The purpose of Huawei's doing this is not to achieve more profits, but to ensure sufficient R&D investment. After all, the follow-up goal is to live with quality. Therefore, Huawei must give full play to its own advantages and accelerate the deployment of digital global markets. The Internet of Everything in the Harmony OS is only the first step. At present, in the 5G to B business, Huawei has obtained more than 3,000 orders worldwide, better applying advanced technology to actual production, improving the efficiency of industrial manufacturing, and replacing some dangerous manual operations. Now, let's dive into this technology cooperation between Huawei and Saudi Arabia. As a major telecom operator in Saudi Arabia, STC has long been committed to reinforcing telecom infrastructure construction, strengthening its technical advantages and network capabilities, and providing excellent user experience. With the rise of digitization and data center service traffic, Saudi Arabia urgently needs to improve its network transmission capacity. Vital to this is increasing the single channel rate, thereby building a premium all optical network. Against this backdrop, STC and Huawei jointly carried out innovation and cooperation on ultra-high-speed technologies to build an all-optical network with better transmission capabilities. In this joint test, Huawei's latest high-performance high-speed coherent optical module was used. The module has a built-in high board rate bandwidth modulator developed by Huawei, achieving maximum 1.2T a channel. In addition, Huawei's unique channel match shaping technology, nonlinear compensation algorithm system, and intelligent neuron function module were used to sense the complex link environment in an actual network in real time, and quickly optimize the network transmission performance. The final test results showed that all key indicators, such as transmission performance, spectral efficiency, delay, and system energy consumption, met expectations, laying a solid technical foundation for future large scale commercial use. STC has been leading the region in the field of optical transmission innovation and has paid great attention to large capacity transmission technologies, said Bader Allheap, Infrastructure VP of STC Group. Huawei's 1.2T high speed transmission technology maximizes the single fiber capacity and greatly improves the bearer efficiency of optical networks. In the future, STC and Huawei will continue to cooperate and explore in the ultra high speed optical transmission field accelerate the application of innovative technologies, construct more efficient optical networks, and provide high-quality connection services to cope with explosive traffic growth. As a strategic target between Huawei and STC this year, we are delighted to see first global 1.2T field trial was done successfully in STC Optical DWDM network, said Victor Ju, president of Huawei's optical transmission domain. This is an important milestone for Huawei's ultra-high-speed and large-capacity OTN solution. Huawei will continue to innovate to provide STC with high-quality, reliable, and sustainable optical transmission solutions, as well as help STC achieve business success. All in all, the foundation of cooperation between Huawei and Saudi Arabia can also help more countries understand that through restrictions to maintain the development of technology, there will be a day of ruin. What do you think of this? Well, that's all for today, see you next time.